hi guys welcome back again to my channel and today we are making sambal yes the spicy indonesian chili sauce so here are the ingredients one kilo of sili labuyu or bird eye chili half kilo of garlic that we already peeled half kilo of red onions or if you can find shallot will be better one fourth kilo of calamansi or if you don't have calamansi you can change it to lime or lemon eight pieces of kaffir lime leaves if you cannot find a fresh one you can use a dried one that easily can find in any supermarket so since i have a fresh tree of kaffir lime i'm using a fresh lime leaves for today three tablespoon of salt half tablespoon of black pepper four tablespoon of brown sugar one cup of vegetable oil or you can use any cooking oil and lastly, I'm using coconut oil to add some aroma to the sambal that we're gonna make. So first step, we're gonna put the garlic inside our food processor and also the onions. And a little bit of coconut oil. check so may mga malaki pa so we have to use a spoon so another time of blending it because we want it everything smooth put back in the plate so we put aside first everything the garlic and the sibuyas so now we are putting the chili you have to be slowly guys or you can use your hand we can do it patch by patch also maybe in one kilo of chili we will do it half first so we'll do this patch first and then same time also we put the oil first guys so kailangan natin ismoothen pa siya konti konti pa so kailangan natin pasensya na paulit-ulit i-blender natin siya para mas mas maliliit siya so ito na itsura ng chili natin after the food processor so we put it aside so for the meantime we're squeezing the calamansi this is just to add flavor and to make it mabango guys So, ito na yung ano, yung calamansi juice natin. So, 
so so now we have this one chili already finely chopped or using the food processor and then garlic and sibuyas also and then calamansi is already juiced out so now we thinly slice the kaffir lime leaf this is also it's add, adding texture and aroma para mas fresh yung lasa na uh, sambal natin guys So ito na yung itsura ng uh, lime leaf na na slice natin into a thin strip. So now first open the kalan with siguro mga low heat konti, medium heat. Medium heat na lang guys. Tingnan mo kung mainit na. So we put in our vegetable oil Then pasok natin yung garlic and sibuyas first Well actually you can put them together sabay sabay Pero I like to put in the garlic and sibuyas first Para mas mabango A little bit shimmering, na, shimmering, simmering, na siya guys. And shimmering, na shimmering. So, constant stirring, lang guys. Now we can put in the chili, but slowly. Too much also. Guys. So now we are putting in the lime leaf muna. So if you try this guys, the moment you put in the lime leaf, nas aamoy mo yung freshness from the lime leaf. Then now now we can put in the salt. Yes. Next, of course, the paminta. Stir it again. Ayan na guys, nag-simmer siya ulit. So now we're, go we're going to put in our calamansi juice. Okay, mmm, fresh agad. Ito yung amoy. Now, last ingredients to be put in, sugar. So, the sugar guys, I'm just using like uh, this amount. But if you want it a little bit sweeter, you guys can add more sugar. 
so don't worry you can adjust the pace guys according to how you like it ayan na guys nagmamantika na siya so i think we are done syempre ito taste nyo muna so switch off the fire and let it sit for a while till it's cool down so i'm letting the chili or the sambal to cool down first guys before we transfer to its bottles ayan na guys medyo cool down na siya so we shall transfer it to the bottle so now before we use the bottle we make sure we sterilize the bottle with mainit na mainit na tubig muna and we will do it twice guys to make sure everything clean and sterilized second round of hot water so I put my ikot nyo lang, mainit eh yun po yung gasin yung kamay nyo pero if not, you can use the wooden tong just to rotate it this is the first bottle So, kung medyo hindi kayo mahilig sa spicy, you guys can add sugar. Pero ako, I like the way it is. Kaya nga kumain tayo ng sambal kasi gusto natin medyo maanghang, di ba? So, ngayon... This one, you can keep it in the ref, guys, na for two months. And if you want longer, you can put in the freezer also. Pero, kung gusto nyo lang sa ano, normal or regular cabinet, four days to one week pwede ito. Kasi wala naman tayo lagi kamatis. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want to use kamatis, also pwede. Pero remove the seeds, okay? Kung gusto nyo naman ibenta guys, normally we use extender para dumami siya, di ba? Kasi mahal naman yung ano, um, kung puro siya. So normally pang extender, you guys can use kamatis or tomato and then just chop it or use a food processor also. But then again, you have to remove the seeds and make sure it's super super cooked kasi yung ano, kamatis kasi mas madali siya masira or mas madali siya mapanis. So, tapos na kami. Ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Almost 12 bottles na. Kasi I said almost, kasi ito ka lang. This is for me. Uh, chili so much. So, last step. We're going to seal the sambal. Para hindi mas mabilis siya masira. We have to dash a little bit of oil on top. Konti lang guys. Para mas seal lang siya na in the way na hindi siya mabilis masira don't worry, coconut oil naman gamit natin so hindi siya yung cholesterol, uh, mataas cholesterol or delikado so okay I'm going to show you the finished product after we cover the lid and then we're gonna put stickers. So yun na guys, oh. 
What you have to do, use your recycle bottle. So, kung bumili kayo ng jam or anything, huwag nyo itapon. So, kasi you can reuse them and just put a sticker paper like what I did. Yan, pwede na siya ibenta. <laughs> so, yan na guys. I hope you guys really uh, try to do this at home. Step by step na in-explain ko. And super simple siya. Pero tingnan mo, ang daming niya pwede gawin. At the same time also na uh, if kung gusto niyo ibenta sa office mates niyo or sa kapitbahay niyo why not um yung sila sabi ko kanina yung 120 to 150 is just basic ano lang pero i've seen a lot of chili product like this they can sell it up to 280 or 250 per bottle and then sometimes meron nga yung 380 mga ganun so it depends sa inyo so um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I know a lot of you have been asking for my sambal recipe or how to do sambal. So this is the video that I'm sharing with you guys that you guys can consume for personal consumption also for selling or for benta. And how to eat the sambal? You can eat it with boiled egg, with dry, uh, fried uh, egg or omelette or you can eat also with fried galunggu fried chicken, shrimp, or anything you want to eat and then dip it with sambal or you just mix with sambal, anything can. So, that's it for this video. Thank you so much and I'm so sorry that I cannot upload any beauty or makeup video tutorial right now because as you guys know that we are in the um, lockdown period, we cannot have model to participate in the video. So, our safety first guys. So, for now, makeup artist, hindi uh, ako makeup artist. For now, Chef Munako. So thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys on my next video.